Welcome to 5 Minute School and in today's video we're going to be talking about type 2 diabetes mellitus. It's characterized by hyperglycemia, insulin resistance and the relative impairment in insulin secretion. The main symptoms of diabetes I've included on the right here in this diagram. The ones in blue are more common in type 1 diabetes. So the pathogenesis or the cause of type 2 diabetes doesn't depend on viruses or autoimmune antibodies as it does in type 1 diabetes. Instead, type 2 diabetes is caused by insulin resistance which has negative effects on the body over a period of time. So insulin resistance is where target tissues like the liver and adipose tissue have a reduced sensitivity to the normal levels of insulin and it's characterized by uncontrolled liver glucose production and decreased glucose uptake by the cells. So insulin resistance is increased with weight gain and it conversely reduces with weight loss. So fat accumulation on the body is important in the development of insulin resistance. So a person is more likely to develop insulin resistance if they are gaining weight and have fat accumulation. So a quick note regarding the beta cells of the islets of Langerhans in the pancreas. Uh, so despite the beta cells being retained in type 2 diabetes, they become increasingly dysfunctional over time, which means they're failing to secrete sufficient insulin to correct the hyperglycemia caused by insulin resistance. So a few of the metabolic changes which are associated with type 2 diabetes mellitus. The first one is hyperglycemia, which is where we have elevated levels of glucose in the blood. And that's due to increased liver production of glucose and reduced uptake in the target cells. We also have minimal amounts of ketosis because we still have the presence of insulin. We also have dyslipidemia, which is where we have an abnormal uh, level of fats in the or lipids in the blood. Since the action of lipoprotein lipase in adipose tissue is low, the plasma chylomicron and the VLD levels are elevated and that results in hyper triacylglycerolemia and we also have low HDL levels as well and that's associated with type 2 diabetes.